Hello, hello. Today, I want to talk about purpose. Just came off the mat with my class and we dove deep into the power and the fire that lives inside of each of, each of us and how we um, recognize it, step into it and create the life full of passion, full of living on purpose. And when you've spent your life looking for external validation from your career, from accolades of the things that you've accomplished, right? Witnessing yourself through the lens of other people rather than through the lens of your own personal life, of your heart um, and of your creator who is in fact consciousness that places the desires inside of our lives, inside of our hearts for our purpose to be lived out in full expression. Uh, so purpose comes from spirituality. We are a soul living in a body, having a human experience. This is one of the experiences your soul is going to get to express in human form. So when we have set ourselves up to do something, be something based on external guidance, humans, history, culture, religion even, there may be a void of what you truly are called to do. And how do you get there is a deep soul searching and heart opening. Uh, I also discovered it through my own rock bottom journeys when there was enough pressure kind of colliding between what I thought I was doing well, which on paper, the resume, the W2 was good. But in my soul, when we are not showing up in a, in a purpose and intent to give, to contribute, to serve, to impact, to nurture, to help, to love, to connect. All these things are part of the life purpose journey. Um, if you are struggling with this and you're getting to an age, usually midlife, and you're going, this isn't it. I'm not happy in my work. I'm not happy in my marriage. I'm not, I don't have any friends I feel connected to. I don't have any real enlightening hobbies. I'm eating too much. I've put on too much weight. I'm drinking too much. These are all the illusion that this physical body looks for because it thinks it's a body. So ego has been created to protect you from hurt, from pain, from fear. Because all those things would potentially lead to death, right? If we're scared, we run. We run from the, the tiger, from the dinosaur, from whatever, from the new report from your boss, <laughs> from the Slack alarm going off. Um, that, that stuff is work. And I appreciate even when I was in my corporate role, I was contributing to my family by a means of money and sh uh, uh, allowing food and shelter and such. But I wasn't expanding. I wasn't giving for the greater good of humanity. I wasn't giving from my heart because I was also reliant on God to provide everything and anything I needed so I could go live in this line of perfected purpose. So God will shake you and wake you in whatever means he needs to, to assure that you get the message that there's more for you than just the work you have or the life you've been leading. And I'm, I'm talking about full on metamorphosis. I'm full on transformation, ripping you down to the bone. What does that look like? Those midlife crises? It looks like a rock bottom of dark belly of despair. I used to call my rock bottom. Like I would tell you I was in the deepest well pitch black and climbing and like ripping my nails off from trying to climb. I know it sounds so dramatic, but like literally that's what my soul felt like living a lie, a bunch of lies, a lot of stuff I wasn't telling the truth about in my personal life and in my work life. I was not happy. I was emotionally unwell. I was physically just toxic, drinking too much, not sleeping, not being true to my guidance that tells me it doesn't have to be hard. And there's a path of easefulness through love and connection through a path of surrender. So what are we going to do about this? I encourage you to start getting clarity on you are not a body. 
you live in a body, you were like renting space in these bodies. So how about we stop hating the body that we we chose to to incarnate into? How about we just start to get well with our own personal relationship? How about we start to love and connect with ourselves for this next, what, 40, 50 years, however long you're claiming that you have based on um, faith and hope? Um, hi, baby. I'm super sweaty. She's, hi, you're trying to clean me up. I love you. Um, how about we get clear with this relationship with ourselves? How about we spend time in prayer and devotion and discovery and start to ask, dear God, what would you have me do? Because the truth is all of our purposes are going to be divinely guided by the creator who breathed life into you and who chose for you to come to this planet. Uh, so start with you, get right with you. Um, if you would like help and guidance, this is what I do full time. I help people heal the past, awaken to the current and set up a life full of passion, purpose, love and connection for the most profound transformation to be able to dance into that present role. So your future will be obviously joyful, blissful, guided and protected. And if something comes to you in the future that is of fear, you will still be guided and protected to ensure you will get through it for the greater good. I love you. I wish you so much love and um, healing and opening during this expansive time for you. And uh, drop me a note if this is helpful. I'll see you next time.